Is there reason to think the polls might be underestimating one side or the other? Are polls like these typically indicative of what actually happens in November? So if we were, in fact, to say, OK, we think it's underestimating one side, I would think it would be underestimating the Republicans. Here's why. Take a look at the July 27th House poll polling versus the November national vote in midterm cycles where there's a Democratic president. We'll go back since 1994, right? And what we see generally, we see some blue here, some Democratic leads in 2014, 1994, a tie back in 1998, Republicans plus three. Then look at the November result. In each of these years, the Republicans outperformed their July polling in the November result. And the average shift from the July polling to the November result, an average shift of six points to Republicans. Why might that be? Take a look here. The shift in party identification margin, because remember, it's not all registered voters we're interested in. It's actual midterm voters. And if we look at every single election since 1978 with the Democratic president, there's been a shift in the party margin, party ID margin. More Republicans turn out on Election Day compared to what the actual registered voters are in midterm elections when there's a Democratic president. Follow Breaking Dot app on all social media for all breaking news.